In this video, I'll talk about how you can connect your speaker cables to an RCA input. Most people will want to do this to connect their speakers through an amplifier or a home theater. Now, if you're trying to do this, if you're trying to connect your speakers using those speakers cable directly to your TV, RCA, unfortunately, there's a good chance that it will not work. And this is because your TV won't be able to amplify the sound enough for your speakers. Now that we have said this, let's get started. So there's, so I'll show you three different ways how this can be done. The first way is to take an RCA cable that looks like this one. As long as it has one of these plugs, we're good. Then the next step is to cut this cable so we can use the connector, the RCA connector. In each of these RCA connectors or cables, there is two cables. So in each of these, there is two. Let me show you. So I'll take this red one, but honestly, it does not matter. You can take the white one as well. And then you need to cut. I suggest you do not cut right over here. Give, give yourself a bit of uh, wire here. Cut it like this. Okay, we do not need the rest of it. And now we need to strip this part so we have access to the cables that are inside. Now I do not have any cable stripper, unfortunately. I only have this... Uh, small cutter over here. Okay, perfect. So if we took a look, we can see that there's two wires inside of this cable. The first one we see over here, we need to actually uh, do this. Okay, we can twist it. So this is our for first wire and the other one is the red one over here that is protected and we we'll need to strip to have access to have access now you can go ahead and strip it but what i suggest is that you try to open this over here this cable like this and then you're going to strip the end of that one Whoops, I caught it. Unfortunately, as I said, these are not meant to do this, so it's a bit harder. Okay, perfect. I know this is a bit short, but it's just to demonstrate over here. Okay, so now we have the two cables out, out of this RCA cable, and all you have to do is to connect one of these like this, and it doesn't matter which one is which. Now you should have a lot more than what is over here, but basically you connect this with that and the other one like that. You put some electrical tape so they do, do not disconnect and you're done. You transform your audio cable over here, your speaker cable to an RCA. And now you can go ahead and plug it into your home theater or uh, receiver. Now I'll show you a much easier way this can be done. What you can get is this small adapter over here that will do what I just showed you, but in just a few seconds. So this is an RCA cable and to connect these, it's very easy. You just have to press here and insert the cable. Do the same for the negative one. You just have to twist it to make sure it fits like this. Make sure that the cables here are not touching, they're separated, and you're done. You just transform your speaker's cable into an RCA cable and then you can just plug it. And by the way, you can plug this one and the other ones in either of the white input, the RCA input, or the red RCA input. It does not matter. Finally, if you do not want to do what I just showed you, there is also an easier solution. So one end is a speaker cable and the other end is an RCA plug. You do not have to connect anything. Everything comes already made for you. And I'll put a link in Amazon if you want to get one of those or maybe even one of these. Everything is down below. Just make sure that when you're connecting your speakers, to your home theater or receiver, make sure that both are compatible in terms of homes. 
So you see over here, my speaker is an eight ohm. You need to make sure that on your receiver on the back, it says that it's compatible with eight ohms speakers and not more or less. Some of them more advanced, you're able to switch between multiple ohms values. This way you can adapt more speakers. So this is just something you need to keep in mind since if you mismatch, if you have some eight ohms speakers, but your receiver can actually only take four ohms or six ohms, you can cause some damage. So this is it. This is how you connect your speakers cables to an RCA input. I hope this was useful. If so, please leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.